Welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all your returning crew members, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Spend Too Much Diecast, where we do all different types of unboxings here on the channel. All right, so you returning crew members, if this does look familiar, we have opened stuff from Fan Home before. Um, it was a couple years ago, at least three or four years ago. Um, they were sponsoring videos by sending me the charger to build, which was supposed to be the really big one. I got like the first four issues and then I heard nothing back from them. Um, nothing got sent to me. So I basically started building it and then it just disappeared. So now they are offering um, 143rd vehicles that I look, that look pretty interesting. And then um, they just put something up on their site where they're gonna be doing the big version of the Skyline. So I went ahead and I pre-ordered the big Skyline. So hopefully we can go ahead and build that together on this channel. And I did start ordering the 143rd versions. Um, again, this is not sponsored now. I am paying for everything. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it. I did kind of have mixed uh, feelings after the fact that they just decided to stop sending me stuff with no information, or even if they would have told me to pay half or something, I don't know. It was just weird. And of course, this is an international company, so maybe that's why, but um, I guess we'll go ahead and start here. So I went ahead and already opened the box just to see what was in it, um, but I guess we'll unbox it here with you guys, and then we'll figure out what it is, what we're getting, stuff like that. I really don't understand how it goes. It's like every month, they send you a new box with different vehicles and stuff like that. So there is the brown paper on top. And it looks like our first vehicle is going to be the Fast and Furious Dodge Charger. And like I said, they are considering these scales as a 143rd. So we'll go ahead and open this up and um, take a look at it and make sure everything looks cool and it's something we can continue with. Um, not sure if you can, I'm pretty sure you can stop your subscription. And then we got a couple of books in here. I do see a invoice, so I'm gonna take that out. So there is the box, the box is empty. Let's move all of that off to the side. So, and see what we all get in this. So here we go. Okay, here is a book. There's the vehicle. Here is a another book. Here is a welcome page. And then I do have the invoice here. I'm not gonna show it because it does have information. But basically it's saying here that it is the Fast and Furious 143rd UK welcome letter, which might be this or that. And then it says we're having Fast and Furious car 132nd US issue one. And that is what I get. So let's see what it says. So Fan Home. All right, dear collector, welcome to Fan Home. We are glad you've joined us and are sure you will love the thrilling adventure each month you will receive a package containing an issue of the Fast and the Furious collection, as well as exclusive gifts created especially for this offer. We deliver we deliver direct to your door. Each package will be shipped once your subscription payment has been processed each month. Remember, you can visit Fan Home to manage, check, all that. Um, if you don't want to miss any of the Fan Home news, please visit, subscribe, all that stuff. Enjoy your journey fast and furious all right there is that so this one looks like issue one which is the dodge charger rt so that would be that one and then maybe this is the welcome so fast and furious collect the most exhilarating cars of the legendary franchise 143rd oh so it's a little a little book you can read 
So it has this. Oh, here's a checklist. All right, so the collection you were waiting for. The cars that experienced the big screen are now brand collectibles. So looks like they got a Dodge Charger, the SRT Challenger, the Daytona, the Skyline, the Chevelle, Eclipse, Yanko, Supra, Escort, Fastback, and then it says down here your collection includes the Ford from Jacob, the Hellcat Dominic, the Fair Lady Z, Mazda from Han, Luke, the Barracuda, and many others. So there might be even more coming throughout the years. Inside is ex exciting magazine. So you get magazines every year and then let's see, subscribe and receive these great gifts. You can get three posters, official mug, an exclusive t-shirt, and it says your fourth gift is a vehicle. And upcoming to premium offers, see for only a pound, recreate the famous scene. So maybe eventually you'll get that if you do the premium, which I did the premium. So you gotta upgrade to the premium if you guys decide to do this. So then it looks like you have a book. It probably is just gonna, the legendary franchise. It's probably just gonna be about the Fast and the Furious. There it is, about the Dodge Charger, since that's what we're getting. All the movies, um, a story behind it. Here's more information. The technical sheet about the Dodge Charger. Um, more information about the Dodge Charger, maybe like where it got its its history. Here's the history of the Dodge Brothers, which is pretty cool. There's a program on TV too about um, the Dodge Brothers and everything, which is really interested. Interesting. I never know that they they first started working with Ford, and then eventually they broke off. And I think they would have been possibly even a better company, but the the brothers died suddenly from uh the disease or something that was going on back then um but i think if they would have if they would have survived longer i think they would have took over ford and all that other stuff more about the dodge brother so pr some pretty good information on here of course it'll be a nice magazine to read but this is what we're all here about is the die cast so let's go ahead and get this opened i kind of like oh here we go fast and the furious all different um, languages. It does have the official licensed product. So let's see what we do. What are we gonna do here? Should I cut it out of the plastic? Maybe see what the card back is like. I don't know. I also don't want it. It looks like it's in. It looks like it's in a, a case. But I kind of like that Fast and the Furious. So I'll go back there. All right. I mean, that's pretty cool. So it does look like it's in a, um, what's the word for this? Acrylic. It's in an acrylic case, which is pretty cool. Oh, the top comes off. You do have a cardboard insert. Oh, that's nice, which has the Fast and the Furious. So that could be something bonus. All right. Okay. N not bad. It is on a plastic base. It does say Dodge Charger. Fast and the Furious. Like I said, I'm not gonna give you 100% what these cost because, oh no. I was gonna take it off for you guys, but look, I don't have that kind of screwdriver. All right, let me try to figure something out. Stand by. All right, you guys, we got it. That was a complete pain. I'm gonna have to see if I can track down the right tool for the future, but basically I just used a needle nose vice grip and kind of got on the little lip here and turned it that way because even like I have like little screwdrivers for like glasses but they weren't powerful enough to get it so here it is off of the stand um, it does look pretty cool it does have a lot of details so the base is plastic um, there's no item numbers or anything no manufacturers 
Oh, see, look, everything. So that must be a European thing, use those lock ones. I'm gonna have to track down a screwdriver. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. The front, so the grill is all plastic. It does say charger on there. Uh, the bottom here is die cast. It is part of the base or part of the car. It does have some orange for the fog lamps. Um, the blower here is chrome, chrome plastic, which is pretty cool. Let's get some of this stuff so it focuses. It does have this antenna, which is pretty fragile, but is pretty cool. It does have chrome wiper blades, the single mirror. Now the, and that just broke off. I told you, man, this, these cars are going to be very, um, very fragile, but the doors do not open. You can kind of see on the inside, it does have a roll cage, it does have a chrome shifter steering wheel. Going along to the back, you got chrome, you got a California license plate. I wonder if that is the correct license plate. Um, you have paint for the exhaust. The exhaust actually doesn't come all the way out. It stops and they put a little paint, a bit of paint to make it look like the exhaust. And there is your passenger side. So I would say overall, these are pretty cool. These are definitely gonna have to be kept in the display box. Um, just the fact that there are a lot of small little pieces. And I'm gonna have to stick a little bit of glue in there and glue that back on, either that or it just popped out. But so I would definitely say keep it in the, um, display case i think from now on when we get them we'll just keep them in here and look at them it's a pain to get the screws off and everything but overall not bad like i said i think the first it's weird because you start the subscription off at a certain price and then after that they go up to like 15 dollars or something but i mean we'll have to see throughout the year or throughout the months to see what we get and what they all look like so there it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, I did pre-order the big, big Skyline where you actually have to build it. So that might be pretty cool. We'll be doing those videos as they come as well. But here's a quick unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, join this uh, Spend Too Much Diecast crew by hitting that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification to get notified every time we put up more videos. Um, this will be in its standard or will be in its separate playlist so you can always go back and check out other videos but there we go there is an unboxing from spend too much diecast hopefully you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one bye